that's Eggman. I wonder what happened to Sonic. I'm finished. Chaos was defeated, and now my egg carrier is ruined. No matter. I will destroy Station Square anyway. Ready? Fire! Ah! No, it was a dud! I can't believe this! Ah, I'll go and deal with this myself! Oh no! I'd better get to that missile before he detonates it! a lot since I've started hanging with Sonic. But I can't depend on him forever. I know I can do this by myself. Okay, Eggman, bring it on! You think you can keep up with me? Damn, this guy really... What? He's caught up! Oh, what the hell? This guy really shot a nuclear Tails, missile wait for me. towards Station Square. I mean, like, this guy is really... I'm honestly one of the most evil, list, most evil things you can do. I didn't think Eggman was capable of that. He really turned into a big-time villain, huh, Doctor? Too bad Tails really isn't as fast as Sonic. Like, this really is max speed. I don't know if you can tell, but trust me, I can feel that. I can feel that he's not as fast. Oh my god. Hey cops. Do you not see that there's a nuclear missile in the city and I'm trying to stop it? Come on. Seriously, there's a nuclear missile in the city and these cops are too concerned with just arresting me for some reason. Imagine, imagine that actually happened in real life. That'd be sad. I forgot I could do this. Almost fell. Alright. Let's go up. And into this town. Now, can you believe cars can you, can you actually, like, picture cars driving on this kind of freeway? That'd be a long, crazy ass freeway. I don't think cars like like we have cars fast enough to um, or maneuverable enough to be able to drive on freeways like this without like falling or crashing. 
Station Square is one hell of a city. Yeah, there, there's a missile. Oh, I thought I was dead there for a minute. I hit this building. There's a building that Sonic ran down. I honestly don't know. I'd, I'd like to assume so. Only really makes sense. It's like the tallest building. Tallest building is Station Square. Oh no! It's Robotnik! So you beat me to the missile, you little pest. I will make you all pay for this. Let's get out of here! You fool. Away. Before I make mincemeat out of you. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I can do this! Damn, he sounded so menacing in that cutscene. The Egg Walker. Get a load of this! No way! I can't believe it! Get a load of this! No way! I can't believe it! Man, I think it's kind of like a little menacing, but look at that. I already took it down. Okay, never mind. Get a load of this! Get a load of this! No way! I can't believe this! Ah! Huh. Not much left. Oh, that's a lot of bombs. Get a load of this. No way. I can't believe this. Ah. Ah. He's not gonna get away with this. Damn, he's almost, I almost defeated him. Ah, oh, those bombs. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. No way. Ah. Wow, that was easy. That machine looked really menacing, but it really wasn't. It's kind of a pushover. Hey! I did it! You saved the day! You're the best! I did it all by myself! We're forever grateful! Yep, and believe it or not, that is actually the end of Tales of Story. So, see, I told you, much shorter than Sonic. That was actually half the length of Sonic's story, because Sonic's story had 10 action stages, while Tales, as you saw, only had 5. 
to be fair, and to be fair, four of those were already were all the stages that Tails accompanied Sonic in. In his story, the only one was that Sonic wasn't there. Was the last one, but you see why? Because while Tails was uh, running through Speed Highway trying to get to the missile. That, that was the time, that was happening around the time Sonic was uh, exploring Lost World. It had to be because Eggman was there. Or Eggman, yeah, Eggman was dealing with Tails and the missile. And we know that when Sonic reaches final egg, Eggman is already there. So, clearly, this happens while Sonic's exploring Lost World. And after he filled his Lost World, he went back to the, to the Mr. Gruens to go to the final egg and try to take care of Sonic. Yeah, this this story is uh, it's really quick. Now, in terms of the gameplay, I like it. Just because it's probably like the this what the next best thing to Sonic's uh, to Sonic's gameplay, or what I mean to say is basically like it's the same layout, and it still has to do with speed in some way because they're all races and well, I mean I really like Sonic so you can make this fair assumption that I love speed so. Yeah, I mean, of course, the only thing with Tails is the fact that since the stages basically use the same layout as Sonic's, they really, you could see that they just really weren't made to accommodate Tails' flight. I mean, they added the ring, the, the like, the, the flying dash rings, but... Other than that, that's, a, that's the only change they really made, and since Tails can fly, it's just like... It really breaks the levels. Honestly... I feel like it, for you to lose in one of the races, like... You would really have to like deliberately suck. Like seriously, like you had to suck so bad, or like you would have to like try to lose, you know? Y even if you probably don't even try flying, like trying to do it on ground, to kind of give Sonic and Eggman a fair, fair chance, I feel like you can still do it. It's not that hard. And here we got Tails standing next to the tornado. It's cool. Hey, I got 22 emblems now. I don't remember how many emblems there are in total in this game. I think, there, I think it's... 80? Sega. I, I mean, I want to assume it's 80, but I could be wrong. Anyways, that was Tails' story from Sonic Adventure, or of Sonic Adventure. So, we got Sonic's story done, we got Tails' story done, so we still got four more stories left. We're only a quarter, or not a quarter, we're only a third of the way through. But anyways, yeah, I think that that... that That'll be it for this part of the playthrough. So thank you guys for watching and join me next time where we where I'll start Knuckles' story. Alright. See you later.